PCBs, or printed circuit boards, are multi-layer platforms that secure and interconnect electronic components to form circuits. It is made of non-conductive material with copper layers that can be etched to create a multitude of intricate conductive paths and device connection points. Let's take a closer look at PCB composition, starting with a single layer through whole board. The core material or substrate is commonly made of FR4, which stands for flame-resistant grade 4 fiberglass reinforced epoxy. Next is a thin layer of copper that is clad to the FR4 with glue and heat using a press. The thickness of the copper is measured in ounces. One half ounce, one ounce, and two ounces are the most common. Measuring thickness by ounces refers to how thick the copper would end up if you hammered it into a uniform sheet covering a one square foot area. In Europe and Asia, they measure the thickness in micrometers. 17.5 micrometers is one half ounces, 35 is one ounce, or 70 micrometers, two ounces. Added benefits to using a PCB are the finished layers. The bottom finish layer is called solder mask or solder resist, like masking tape. It masks off anywhere you do not want solder. It consists of a thin coating of epoxy liquid that protects the copper traces from oxidization and accidental shorting. It also works to prevent solder bridges between exposed pads during soldering. The topmost layer of a single-sided PCB is used to provide information about the board, its components and values, and any other bits of key information the designer wants to convey. As the name implies, a silkscreen process is used to lay down the text or symbols using a special ink. Placing a silkscreen layer on the copper side is also an option, but it will almost always be on top of the solder layer. In cases where fitting all the traces needed onto a single copper layer proves difficult or impractical, two-layer PCBs provide additional conductive paths for circuit design. The solder mask and silk screen layers are also applied to the added copper layer. PCBs can have a multitude of internal copper layers, usually added in pairs, such as four or eight layer PCBs. Some smartphones have as many as 12 copper layers. A PCB is not very useful without a way to secure the components. Holes are drilled at the pads for device leads to pass through. Then, the leads can be soldered and trimmed to complete part of the circuit. Two-sided boards require an additional step to connect the circuit between copper layers. Where a component passes through, the hole is electroplated with copper to connect the top layer to the bottom layer. Then the component can be soldered as before. Designers can also connect the layers with an electroplated via, which is typically a much smaller diameter than component through holes. Vias can also be used in dense patterns to facilitate cooling by passing some of the heat onto the copper on the opposite side of the board. These are called thermal vias. There are other types of vias for high complexity situations, such as buried or hidden and blind, among others. Mounting holes are another type of hole that can be utilized. They can be placed wherever needed on the PCB and are usually not electroplated, unless it is used as part of the ground circuitry. Modern PCBs are often used as a platform for surface mount devices or a combination of surface and through hole. All the same features mentioned are useful in surface mounted designs. When you are ready to go from this to this, PCBs are fun to create and make a powerful and useful evolution to your favorite electronics project.